Hey guys, it's Charles and welcome back to Undertale. Let's get down to business. On the floor inside is a box of pomper raisins. Can I have some? Aware of dog. Please pet dog. What you doing there? A dog just rushed in here filled with inspiration. It kept trying to build a snare dog that expressed its own emotions. But as it built, it kept getting more excited about the sculpture. Its neck got longer and longer and it added more and more snow until... It was rather sad to watch, but I couldn't turn away. Cool. Alright, this is easy. Just start over here. Then down. And then um, left. And then up. And then right. And then down. And then left. And then up. And then right. And then up. Simple as that, right? It's really easy. There's a dog on my head. That's hilarious. What's up? Is that all you got to say? What's with the eyes? What the heck? Jif Trot confronts you. <laughs> I've never seen this before. Hmm. Undecorate? You remove the barbed wire made of pipe cleaners. That's a little bit. Whoa, 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 what is this? Jeff Trot is slightly less irritated. You remove the lenticular bookmark of a smug teen winking. That's a little bit. Jeff Trot is slightly less irritated. You remove a stocking filled with chicken nuggets. The weight has been lifted. Jeff Trot's problems have been taken away. I'm gonna keep on decorating you. You try to undecorate. Er, those are real. <laughs> Jeff Trot's problems have been taken away. Let's decorate you again. <laughs> you had some googly eyes you found on the ground. I was starting to trust you! Oh, shoot. Jeff Trot looks disappointed. Sorry. You removed the googly eyes. Thanks for nothing. Jeff Trot looks disappointed. Mm. You looked a little disappointed there. Are you lost? Yeah. I wanna see what's in here. Any purpose to these mushroom lights? It's a door. Well, thanks! Is there any significance to this door? It's still a door. Well then, guys. Oh, we had something. I've actually never been there. I've never seen Jeff Trot. I feel so important right now. Knowing I've seen Jeff Trot. Oh, this is funny. It's a snow puff. And this is a snow puff. This, however, is a snow puff. Surprisingly, it's a snow puff. Snow puff. Is it really a snow puff? <gasps> Behold! A snow puff! Eh? There's dirty gold inside this. What is this? I have a lot of gold. Oh, what a cute little dog. Mm. Mm. It's the greater dog. I'm gonna ignore you. Greater dog inches closer.
Greater dog just wants affection. <laughs> this music is hilarious. Greater dog inches closer. Greater dog just wants affection. Greater dog inches closer. This music is awful. Greater dog is making puppy dog eyes. Fine, I'll pet you. Greater dog curls up in your lap as it is pet by you. It gets so comfortable it falls asleep. Zzz. Then it wakes up. It's so excited. Nope. Mm. Greater dog is patting the ground with its front paws. Greater dog's excitement is creating a power field that prevents petting. That makes sense. Greater dog is patting the ground with its front paws. Play. You make a snowball and throw it for the dog to fetch. It splats in the ground. Greater dog picks up all the snow in the area and brings it to you. Now dog is very tired. It rests its head on you. No. Greater dog wants some TLC. <laughs> As you pet the dog, it sinks its entire weight into you. Your movement's slow, but you still haven't pet enough. Pet capacity is 40%. You pet decisively. Pet capacity reaches 100%. The dog flops over with its legs hanging in the air. Greater dog is contented. Good. Aww. Lick my little nose, or whatever that is. <laughs> Hilarious. Longbridge. Human! This is your final and most dangerous challenge! Behold! The Gauntlet of Deadly Terror! How is a doge that terrifying? When I say the word, it will fully activate! Cannons will fire! Spikes will swing! Blades will slice! Each part will swing violently up and down! Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain! Are you ready? Because I am about to do it. Well, what's the hold up? Hold up? Why hold up? I'm uh, I'm about to activate it now. That uh doesn't look very activated. Well, this challenge it seems maybe. Too easy to defeat the human with. Yeah, we can't use this one. I am a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fat. And my traps are extremely expertly cooked. But this method is too direct. No class at all. Away it goes. <clears throat> Phew. What are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Papyrus. Mm, yeah. Here. Okay. Oops. You got rejected. I don't know what my brother's gonna do now. If I were you, I'll make sure I would understand blue talks. Thanks, Sans. Let's pause here and enjoy this music. Because I made a remix of this on my Beast channel. Link in the description. Go check it out. Featuring the great Dalvando. He helped me a lot with the music too. Might I add. The sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. Use the box. I have way too much stuff. But I could put away something. Although I really don't need to. I'll save an ice cream. Because I'm pretty good at this game already. Hello, Traveler. How can I help you? Hmm. I like some armor. Yeah. 
I'll take some armor. Can't sell. Huh? Sell something? Does this look like a pawn ship? I don't know how it works where you come from, but... If I started spending money on old branches and used bandages, I'd be out of business in a jiffy. Good point. Bye now. Come again sometime. She makes a very good point, everyone. Don't sell to... Strange women. Seriously, though, don't, don't, don't do that. Mom says that sleeping can recover your health above your maximum HP. What maximum HP? Wait a minute. That could help. Mom says that sleeping can recover your health above your maximum HP. Maybe I can sleep a little bit. Because I know in here you can sleep. Welcome to Snowden, Snowden's premier hotel. One night is 80 gold. Here's your room key, make sure to bundle up. Am I sleeping? Who is that next door? It's like a choir of snoring. Up the whole night. Oh, you, you look like you had a great sleep. Which is incredible because you were only up there for only about two minutes. <laughs> yeah. Sounds about right. Here's the money back. You could pay me if you're going to stay overnight. So, did I actually get more health? I got 30 out of 20. It's pretty cool. And I got my gold back. It's pretty good to know. There's a lot of stuff I actually don't remember or know about this game. That lady over there, something about her disturbs me. She's not wearing pants, maybe that's the thing that disturbs you. <laughs> Isn't my little scenery just the cutest? Bum bum, just so adorable. To you. Okay. Bum 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 bum. Interesting little creature. Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating its tree like horns. So we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. I saw that one. I saw that monster. Let's see. So there are these people that I'm going to be doing an Undertale comic dub with sometime soon. And they want me to voice Monster Kid. So let's see if we can figure something out. Yeah, you're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. That's all you have to say, okay. This town doesn't have a mayor, but if there's ever a problem, the skeleton will tell the fish lady about it. That's politics. <laughs> Alright. A lot of different creatures in here. Hey, the moving dog. I'm thinking of getting a spiked collar to show off my personality. It makes a statement like, attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, please. You better watch where you sit down in here, kid, because that big guy will jump into your lap and give lots of love and attention. That literally sounds a lot like Donald Trump, what I just did there. No matter where I go, it's the same menu with the same people. Help, I want new drinks and ha <laughs> ha. Ha! Hot guys! Hey, is that human food different from monster food? It does things like spoil. And when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I'd like to try it sometime. Just go buy something. Alright. The capital's getting pretty crowded, so I heard they're gonna stop moving here. Hmm, I don't want to see the erasure of our local culture, but I definitely want to see some city slickers slip onto their butts. Alright. Dear dogs are part of a royal guard, the elite military group led by Undyne. She's rude, loud, and beats up everybody who gets in her way. 
It's no wonder why the kids want to be like her when they grow up. Well, they put out a line for some girls today. Some of them told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm thinking that taking that. Seriously. I'm literally going to make out with the fish. Fishy kisses. Probably should actually put water in my mouth instead of doing the blah blah blah. It's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. This fire sound like... Grub said they can offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. Oh wait, that was a narration for him. <laughs> well that's what fire sounds like guys. A really cool narrator. Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crises. Dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I will join them, but I'm just not very funny. We all know the underground is problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so why be morose about it? Excellent. Ice dog. He looks like he's having fun. Man, I'm parched. I dropped one of my water bottles. Don't worry, it was empty. Let's play Monsters and Humans. Oh, to be young again, the world sure felt boundless. Ah, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Ah, my patience rewards me. Hmm. Nothing up there. I'm drinking a lot of water. I'm gonna pee my pants. Okay. Dad, look in your eye. You're someone that has trouble doing crosswords, aren't you? How can you tell? I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it with comics and games. <laughs> When I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time, but look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. Good for you. Love, hope, compassion. This is what people say monster souls are made of. But the absolute nature of soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need those things to exist. Yeah. Welcome to the library. Yes, we know. The sign is misspelled. Oh yeah, library. <laughs> Ooh, what's this? It's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. This mailbox is labeled by papyrus. Look inside. It's empty. Oh, too bad for you. Is that Sam's mailbox though? He must be very popular. Spam wise. Can't go in, I think. It's locked, yeah. But I know Papyrus is gonna show up, so let's do this thing. Human? Allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover. <coughs> Excuse me. Can I mute that? <clears throat> the admiration for another's puzzle solving skills. The desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings. They must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what must it feel like that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not, you shall be lonely no longer. I, the great papyrus, will be your... 
No. No, this is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You are human. I must capture you. Then I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's Papyrus, the newest member of the Royal Guard. You can do it, Papyrus. You can beat me. What? F f flirting? So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings? Well, I I'm a skeleton with very high standards. I have zero redeeming qualities. Oh no! That humility! It reminds me of... MYSELF! You're meeting all my standards. Let's date l later, after I capture you. It's cool I'm like 30 health right now. Papyrus is- oh, Papyrus is thinking about what to wear for his date. Oh no. Let's date later. After I capture you. The perfect time to date me is probably after you capture me. That's for sure. Papyrus is thinking what to cook for, its, for his date. You flirt, but to no avail. Seems acting won't escalate this battle. Let's date l later, after I capture you. Yeah. I think... Oh yeah, I know what... Dabs some bone cologne behind his ear. There's no ear. How selfless! You want me to feel better about fighting you? I don't deserve such hospitality from you! I'm gonna let him hurt me. Papyrus dabs marinara sauce behind his ear. Papyrus, you are the king of dabbing. There's no need to lie to yourself. Your bobs hide a hidden affection, your emotional cactus. I'm just gonna let it hurt me. Because... That's all you gotta do. Papyrus dabs brand bishy cream behind his ear. Where is this ear he's talking about? Don't, don't waste your words on me. I'm losing all my health I gained from sleeping. Mount, Mount brand anime powder? Yeah, I didn't think so. Have to let him hurt me. If you guys are confused why I'm letting him hurt me, you'll see why. See? You're too weak. I was easily able to capture you. I will now send you to the capture zone. Or as Sans calls it, a garage. You're in the doghouse now. <laughs> Did you hear that? That was Asgore. Just kidding. It might be. So a dog was staying here once. Ooh. Sorry, I have to lock you in the guest room until Undyne arrives. Feel free to make yourself at home. Refreshments and accommodations have been provided. Yeah, for yours, Papyrus. So he just gave me dog food. Does he think I'm a dog? Silly Papyrus. I am dry to the bone right now. That is appropriate for the situation we are in right now. That's why I'm drinking so much water though. Oh, where could that human have gone? Wait, it's right in front of me. Hello! I was worried that you had gotten lost. It sure is a relief to know that you're right here. Wait a second! You're not supposed to be escaping! Get back there! Ooh, now it's getting epic. I don't deserve such hospitality from you. Oh, now I'm a bouncy heart. I can bounce. Yeah, don't make me use my special attack. Ooh. Why do you... You're not spaghetti. 
I can almost taste my future popularity. Maybe that's the marinara sauce behind your ear, buddy. Blue attacks everybody! Oh, shoot. Well, you may have cleverly escaped from jail before, but this time I've upgraded the facilities. Not only will you be trapped, but you won't even want to leave! <laughs> Asgore. I can hear you, Asgore. You guys aren't really good at setting up prisons and stuff. I'm not going to ask you to do anything like that for me. That's for sure. <sighs> I'm tired. <clears throat> Back again, eh? I suppose it's my fault. I told you before that I would make you spaghetti. It's only natural that you would want to see me. In the dire hope that I would make you some. Well, I understand. Papyrus is hungry too. Hungry for justice! Papyrus blocks the way. Undyne will be really proud of me. Yep. You are persistent. But it just won't work on me. I am the persistentest! And if you think you're a persistentester, that is wrong! Grammatically wrong! Because the correct form would be not as persistent as as papyrus the persistent as 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 I hope you enjoyed this lesson. <laughs> Asgore, we don't need you now. You're not part of the storyline. My ear is itchy. You're back again? I finally realize it truly isn't the true reason why. You. Just miss seeing my face so much. I'm not sure I can fight someone who feels this way. But mostly, I'm getting really tired of capturing you. Nah. Okay. I guess I'll accept my failure. Yo ho ho. I can't even stop someone as weak as you. Undyne's gonna be disappointed in me. I'll never try the royal god, and my friend quantity will remain stagnant. What should you say? What a loser. Huh? Why would you berate yourself so loudly? Is it because you don't think you're good enough to be my friend? No, you're great. I'll be your friend. Wowee, we haven't even had our first date. And I've already managed to hit the friend zone. Who knew that all I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through, and I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul. Like you. That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh. I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you have to pass. Through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is... Well... He's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I'm certain if you just say, Excuse me, Mr. Dreamer, can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. <laughs> okay, this seems like the perfect stopping point. So thank you for watching this everyone, please like and subscribe and uh, suggest gaming, suggest challenges, and suggest fun. Um, next episode will be up soon. I will see you later. Bye bye.